is they're going to beat it. And now the Molly to come in to try and give him a bit of pushback, to try and create a little bit of space. Adam to charge him down. And it is just not going to happen. Case, it's nearly flawless. It's not quite there because Cypher's gone down. But still, he's got a one on four in his hands to give Case their first. I mean, talk about applying pressure, Ryan. In case they did not stand a chance in that round. Thomas, a stunner of an entry, followed up by a flash. Yeah, you've got to be you've got to be deathly scared if you're Case right now. Uh, I mean, Ryan, we need to see a Lucas-esque play here on the Deagles, and it's just not going to happen. Thomas and Dubbo open up, and Honda does claw one back, picks himself up a rifle, but already a man disadvantage. They don't have the, uh, the head armor, not that it even matters at this point. They don't have the utilities, what I should be referencing. There's Dubbo. Oh, he's, he's going to be the to Honda here. He's looking the wrong way. It gets dicey for a second, but 4v2. Case just have to fall away. Pray they can pick up one of these fallen weapons. Um, and even then, it looks incredibly unlikely as they He'll find the opener, so, uh, well, that's the calling that we needed. That is disgusting, Cypher. We know how good he is with the orb, or with the rifle, excuse me. And in this scenario, the orb, okay, sure, it finds the opener. Smuya backing on in, right eye peak, RCF gone. And Cypher's positioning so advanced. This is such an easy round for them to pick oh, up now. No. Yeps, is he going to clear towards spawn? His gun barrel will give him away, but Adam 9131 greater. As Steel backs into a corner, back against the wall. And well, as the seconds dwindle, it's the countdown for ITB double digits and Case are yet to score. They call up the 9130 hotline and he's right where they need him to be. Not only does he pick up one, he doubles up on the bottom of Banana, leaving poor old Honda in the 1v4. Uh, Honda doesn't stand a chance in hell, if I'm going to be honest with you here, Ryan. The bomb is waltzing over to an open B site. Poor Honda is stuck in the pit. Gets decapitated by Cypher. I don't even know how to interpret this. Yes, well, fans at home saying the scoreline may deceive. I can only hope for the Case Esports side that that is correct. But Cypher, his fifth kill in two rounds. Dobbo will make it his eighth as he dismisses fast in from apartments. And a five on three from bad to worse for Case. They try and go audacious for the man advantages. And it just isn't happening. Tom. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but Matt one, it feels all but done. Ryan, I think you are, um, you might well be correct in that. And, and Down to four, Case. They're going to be dropping in the utility, Dobbo knife in hand, just using his sense of hearing to know what's coming on, what's going up on the B site, and with the USP on the back of the site, he's going to have to find a double, and he plucks fast in out of the sky, and he still fights, and he finds a second kill, Dobbo the headhunter, Yeps will spin through the smoke and find a second kill, and so this round is all but done, and the tale only just begins, but Thomas to shut the book, slam the door in Case's face, and it's hot. Honda now left alone, and we know he's a pistol maestro. Nah, man. I mean, it would be I'll double down. Incredible I'll double down and, and say I will also eat a shoe if they win. <laughs> I, need, I need more people on this bandwagon to steal. Well, he starts one of his own, but it's not in their favor. Cypher doubles up and Smear up for a third. Oh, dearie me, Case. It's all falling apart once again. Honda has been spotted by Cypher. Will go down promptly. Fast in 1v4, and it would take not only a miracle, but some incredible prowess that we have, well, we've really yet to see on the server from Case to get this over the line. And uh, he's about to walk straight into the loving arms of Adam, and that's an absolute freebie. What a game from Into the Breach. Ace goes for this, though. That's going to be straight into the open arms of Honda. I mean, this time on the bomb, oh, oh. to take away. That's a lot of damage done to us here, but it's They've not enough for the kill. Oh my goodness, surely not. Not like this. Maria finds another. That's going to be the defuse for into the breach. Or is it? It's close. It's so very close. But of course, because it is Thomas in Temple, patiently waiting here, Tom. And as the play explodes, Dobbo in towards Temple will find the opening kill and no response. A silent T side of Case as the bomb in the palm of Adam will find another. RCF dancing back and forth between the box, but with six seconds to go, there is no time. Smooth will find the last. That one out there, but 
Man, I, what was I saying? Anyway, B rush, that's what we're, we're talking about here. <laughs> Smooth up, he's found the open up, no problems at all to find the first, the second kill. Warbang coming in, Cypher's done good damage. And well, just as quick as this play starts, it seems to crumble, fall at the seams. Yep, some fasting. They do give a bit of pushback, a bit of resistance. But as the guns are switched out, Adam looking for the kill. Yes, he will find Cypher. But that's all she wrote for the half bite. It's not all bad, but disgusting that we need to see a little bit more from Case on their map pick on their T side. And they look like they want to deliver as they have stolen that awful away from Smooya in middle and are now bolstering their way over to this same site. But Thomas does cut them down. And as soon as they try and build up a bit of a storyline in this just around, RCF is in a 1v3. As we said, I'm not normally looking as drastically terrible as they did on Inferno. So for those to continue the embarrassment as he finds a first the jewel but rest as they do so on. much damage in middle my goodness but it is down to the 2v2 and dobbo almost caught off guard somehow steel deals a killing blow to yeps and adam knows exactly where steel is he peeks on in straight into the loving arm it is manageable Oh, good early Molotov damage and Honda. My goodness, the swing is fantastic for the first, but not the second. Dobbo trades 4v4. Molotov extinguished, but at the cost of a smoke that could have been used for the sight cross. Boston, though, he doesn't realize Thomas has already stuck his way into CT, but Cypher, I think he catches a pixel of him. Boston forced further back and will give up his position further with the wood spam as Smuya, considering dancing on into B lane, and he doesn't catch a single player? Really? In seconds, think by Yeps, but manages to convert the frag as Boston now peeks his way out onto the bomb site. Smuya tries to draw attention, and Thomas will capitalize. 1v2 now for RCF. He's been put in a lot of clutch situations before. Who's sticking to what position? But, like, you can see Thomas or Dobbo over towards Donut, for example. You can even see them on B occasionally. And enough of my ramblings as Thomas will be picking up the first frag from another different position in top mid red room. Smoothie catches Steel off as well. And we have another 5v3. But it was a 5v3 in the previous round as well. And they still let things slip. Can Adam be the hero on B? No, we can't. Again, another entry. And Thomas might go down to another orc here. Thomas goes for the repeat and will find the frag. RCF will fall. Cypher comes in from K. And this is a brilliant recovery from ITP. Again, they let that crucial single round slip away from them on that CT side. And that could be costly. And Bastard, he's actually not done with this round. He's still got the bomb. Yeah, against four originally. It's going to be a difficult task, but dismissing Smear, I do believe, from the plateau position. And as he peeks in, Thomas smoking his hand. But M4 drawn. Big damage done. It's down to two, but. One bullet away from death here, Farsin. His smoke goes way too deep and a flashbang might misguide him on how far away Dobbo's actually playing with the AWP. But it's all a delay, all a, uh, a mirror image for Cypher to come in from behind. It's 2019. Oh, they run through fire and flame. They entry time and time again. Cypher in with a big double. And another 5v3 on their T side, but they've let rounds like this slip before. Can they finally hold on to it? Smuya flicks across, lands the first bullet, not the second. Honda shuts him down, but Cyphers in with three on the entry. Finally traded by Honda. Honda is going huge, my goodness gracious me! Two versus two now as he dances around the pillar, but Thomas is the one to shut him down this time. Bomb now planted on the site, and it's Dobbo to hold Yeps at bay. 12 HP on Thomas and Ryan. Is this doable in the clutch? No, it's not. Thomas, what a shot. Finally, at long last, it will be success for Into the Breach as they give us a heart attack in the process. Man, you talk about a close game. That is absolutely it. I do not believe how that's just happened, but ITB.